Let's get started by taking a look at the After Effects workspace. What you see here is called the standard workspace. Like most Adobe products, when you look under workspace, you'll see variations that you can choose from. This particular one is the standard, and as you get more familiar with After Effects, you may choose a different one, or of course you can customize any of these to create your own. After Effects is much like Photoshop on steroids, if you will. It's a very deep and involved program with lots and lots of options. But here are the basics. This area here, which currently says Composition, is where you'll see the work as you're working on it. This area down here is our timeline, which currently doesn't show any numbers because we haven't set some parameters, but it'll indicate to us what's happening and when as we move through time. And over here is where the assets as we import them or create them will be listed. Over here you'll find lots of variable palettes, especially with the different workspaces, but right now it's got a library, it's got a presets and effects, and it's got a little bit of a, an information window. There are many, many other possible options here, and as I said, we'll customize them as we learn a little bit more. But let's get started by creating the first key element for an After Effects movie, which is creating a composition. Before we can bring elements into After Effects, and have them move on our timeline, we need to create what's called a composition. Up here you'll see that in this window it says Composition None, and so really we don't have any idea yet what the parameters of our project will be. Those are all set in each composition. We're going to be discussing compositions an awful lot throughout the semester, so here we go, our first composition. So I'm going to choose Composition, New Composition, and I'm going to name this one star because that's what I'm going to make it ultimately. And right now it's got an unusual custom size. If we hold on this down arrow, we can see that there are many, many standards. And we will be using, for the most part, the uh, HDTV 2997. And what that is, is the number of pixels wide and high. So it's 1080 high by 1920 wide and which is a 16 by 9 ratio. This is a common size for most large HD flat screen televisions and 29.97 frames per second is a standard amount of frames going back to film. We're going to set the duration which is how long let's just set it for 10 seconds for now we can always come back in and modify it. Now by default, I believe you'll have a black background. I like to put mine onto light gray just so that I can better see if I have a black element. This is actually not going to be present in the final work. It's just sort of a, an invisible transparent background, if you will. So I'm going to say OK. And there I can see my composition at 50%. I'm still not seeing the entire composition, so if I want to fit it onto the screen, I can say fit, and it shows me that at 33%, I have, um, I can see my entire composition. Now you can also see up here that it says composition star, and if I look into this project window, I also have my first element, which is a composition named star. Seems pretty obvious. Last but not least, in my timeline, you can see now that I show seconds here. And if we were to zoom in, down here, this little mountainscape, if we zoom way in, you can see here 25 frames, and then right at this point where it shows one second would actually be 29.97 frames. Okay, next we're going to make some shapes to start to work with our composition. In order to have something to work with in After Effects, I need some content. Typically I would be importing something from Illustrator or Photoshop or even Cinema 4D. But for this, I wanted to share with you how you can create shapes on the fly in After Effects. So up here is the rectangle tool. And if you click down on it, you can see that there are other options 
underneath this. These are vector shapes. And just for this, I'm going to choose the star tool. And I can determine what color I'd like my star to be by choosing the fill color and the stroke color. So I have a black stroke on there and it is set at three points. And I can twirl it somewhat, get it somewhat where I'd like it to be. And when I release it, I've got my first shape. Now, what you'll notice about this star, after I released it, I went and got my black arrow tool and I clicked on it, is that once I created that, I'm in my composition star, and within that composition, there is now a layer called poly star. And the poly star is uh, part of my composition. It's built directly in after effects and so the name it gets is shape layer. If I want to change the name of that layer I would right click on that and this is going off the screen for you unfortunately but at the very bottom it says rename and then I can name it star and we're ready to go.